We are under the lights as the show gets you ready for another edition of Major League Baseball. Tonight, we've got a good matchup in store between the New York Yankees and the Milwaukee Brewers. Milwaukee attempt to end a six-game losing streak. Next. Brett Anderson will be on the bump for game two of the series. What do we need to know here, Danny? Here's a guy that numbers can be a little bit deceiving. He has a whip in the 1.3 area and above range. It's a little higher than league average. He's been a little bit inconsistent. One good game, one bad game. But don't let that whip fool you. This guy's a much better pitcher than that. And if he brings his A game, he Pick could be off. awfully tough Yankees. in this one. So digging in now, DJ LeMayhew. And we are set LeMayhew. for baseball here this evening. And the first oh, pitch of the oh, inning here oh. misses down and in for a ball. That's 1-0. And guys, we take a look at the Brewers entering play here tonight. They are in the midst of a pretty bad stretch as they've dropped six straight coming in. Yeah, I get it, Matty. The team's on a moderate losing streak right now. Can't be happy with the way they played, but they have to find a way to relax a little bit. Everybody goes through these little stretches, these little valleys throughout the course of a long season. This team should right itself, and it needs to start today. too far out in front that time he can't keep it fair two and one and we'll see some 40s before things are said and done tonight right now 51 degrees at first pitch the two one one that misses inside and the counts run full now three and two to be honest with you I'm a little bit more afraid of the guy on deck than the guy that's up right now if I'm on the mound I want this guy up right now he's the guy that's got to beat me grounded back up the middle and that'll get on through into center field so he's got himself a leadoff single tip your cap if you're the pitcher right there that was a great battle a couple of tough pitches offensive player able to work himself deep into the count pitcher on the attack but chalk one up for the offense on that and that'll bring up Aaron Judge in his career against Brent Anderson he's hitting 429 first pitch of the at bat on its way and he's way off balance with the swing there and set up behind the dish is Woody Keller as you see the rest of our umpiring crew there. You know, D-Row, Woody Keller's a good umpire, but at times the consistency kind of wavers a little bit. I'm not sure if you'd say he's a low ball umpire or a high ball umpire. Oh. Sometimes his zone changes from game to game. Yeah, he can be a little inconsistent, Dan, no question about it, but he's approachable. As, a, as an offensive player, I just want to be able to turn around and say, is that as far as you're going today? And Woody will usually give you an answer. LeMahieu aboard here at first with nobody out. Hard hit ball to second. There's one. On to first to complete the double play. That is third. The left fielder. Giancarlo. Stanton. So striding forward now. Giancarlo Stanton. First chance for him here in the top of the first with nobody on. Infield in the overshift here. Now the pitch. No. One ball. No strike. Into his windup. Here comes the 1 0. Ball. This is a spot you really don't want to be in with a great hitter like that. You can't just lay one in there, but you also don't want to run the count to 3 0. Timing just to tick off there as this one's fouled off to the right. Bases are empty here with two men out. And he gets him to pop it up on the right side of the infield. And Jerko will make the catch here, and that ends the inning. So no runs on one base hit, no errors, and no one left on. 
Now it's the Brew Crew's turn in a scoreless ball game. Jay Happ is ready to go as he'll be on the mound for the Yanks. What's your take on him, Dan? Hey, in this day and age where we're all into numbers and statistics, look at this whip, 1.10 or less. He has a sub 1.1. That's not an easy thing to do, especially in today's game where we see teams scoring a lot of runs. He doesn't walk very many guys, and he doesn't give up that many hits either. This is a real good pitcher and should be fun to watch pitch in this one. First pitch of the at-bat. Swing and a liner. And a base hit. So he goes after the first pitch he sees, and he's on to open up the inning. Batting second, the third baseman. Now in the box, Brock Holt. And he really thrives in the batter's box here at home. Something to keep an eye on in this one. set here's the nothing and nothing pitch Go. and as the Yankees get started here tonight guys they've had it going the last 10 games they're seven and three over that stretch including a win last time out yeah Maddie taking a look at the standings right here this team has a nice lead comfortable you always want to find yourself in a position where you're about five to nine games got the advantage you don't one series isn't going to totally kill you in the standings and this team this team's sitting pretty right now that is her. The right field, right field. Christian Yelich. And here's Christian Yelich now. No one on base for him after the double play. Yeah, Matt, that two ball really changed the complexion of this inning. It looked like the middle of the order was going to have a chance to get a big hit with some ducks on the pond, but now they just have to try and get a two out rally started. Infield shifted well to the right. Here's the first pitch. Ball. And he runs that one high and tight for ball one. Wouldn't mind the pitcher expanding the zone a little bit more and using his aggressiveness against him. Just no. missing here, 2 0. Oh. It's a lot easier to hit when you're putting yourself in good hitters' counts. This guy's done a great job not swinging at pitchers' pitches. And when he's getting the ball in the zone, he's getting the barrel to it. He's been hot lately. Ball. Too high. And it's 3 and 0. Oh. I wouldn't be surprised if he had the green light here. Matter of fact, I know he's got the green light here. He's looking for something set or cut, and he's looking to do damage. And that's into the corner, a foul ball in right. He got the fastball where he wanted and just pulled off of it. Here's the 3-1. Fastball too low, and that's ball four. Batting four. The left fielder. So now it'll be the four-hole hitter, Avisail Garcia. And he's carrying a batting average of just over 300. So clearly he's been a productive player with the bat in his hand so far. There's a fastball called for a strike on the inside corner. Yelich is running. That's a strike to throw down. He's not going to get him as he swipes second. We all know this team is struggling right now. They're on a losing streak, so when that's the case, sometimes you need to be a little bit more aggressive and try to put some pressure on your opponents. Stolen bases are a good way of doing that, so we'll see if it pays off on the scoreboard for him right now. A swing and a miss as he chased with two strikes, and that will retire the side. Milwaukee leaves one. We are still scoreless. Gary Sanchez. He'll get us started in the top of the second. Gary Sanchez. First pitch on its way. In there at the knees, strike one.
off the plate. One ball, one strike. Takes this the other way to right. Yelich is there, and he has it for the out. That is it. The third baseman, Gio Urshela. In now, Gio Urshela. He'll get to take his first cuts here. Now here's the pitch. Well below the knees, laid off on the changeup there. No score here as we play inning number two. Fouled off. High in the air down the right field line. But this is just going to wind up being a foul ball. Swing and a liner. A quick glove at third, and there are two gone. That is it. The center fielder, number 11, Brett Gardner. Now at the plate, Brett Gardner. And as you can tell easily from the splits, he's really struggled away from their home ballpark. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. <laughs> Two out, nobody on. Strike two. You got to go into battle mode after falling down 0 2 and find a way to work yourself back to even. This one to right field and deep off the bat of Gardner. Yelich going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. One, two, three, go the Bombers. We'll go to the bottom of the second. No score. Standing in, Jed Jerko. The first baseman, Jed. Here's the first pitch to him. And he just misses inside with the fastball there. Hap has become known as a starting pitcher that frequently works deep into games. The kind of guy you want on the staff when your team needs some rest because he tends to eat up innings all by himself. Matt, every team is looking for a guy like this in a day and age where we're going to the bullpens more early and more often. You need at least one or two guys into the rotation that have the chance to get you into the seventh or eighth inning, and he's definitely one of those guys. Outside, 3-0 and oh now. He walked the guy back in the first, and now he's looking like he might hand out another free pass to the leadoff guy here. You can't be walking a guy in inning and think you're going to have any success. And he takes ball four. Leadoff man's aboard here to begin the home half of the second. Well, that is definitely not the way to start an inning. One thing to give up a walk, but to do it on four pitches is pretty alarming. He looks a little thrown off right now. Here's Eric Sogard. First chance for him here with a man on following the leadoff walk. From the stretch. Lifted down the line and left. Stanton will get there with ease as he puts it away for round number one. Got it set. The catcher. Manny. Into the box now. Manny Pina. He's set. Here it comes. Bottom of the second here with no score. Oh. 
Tries to shave the corner with that pitch, but it's one and one. Two and one. Count even at two and two. Working for the punch out and the offering. Sliders strike three called, and that's a pitcher's pitch right there. Two gone. He's just got great strikeout stuff. In his last start, he racked up double-digit Ks, and it looks like he could finish up in that range again here. He's really an exciting pitcher to watch when he's sending guys packing like this. So it's a runner at first with two gone, and up next will be the shortstop, Orlando Arcia. From the belt, the pitch. In on the hands a bit with the fastball, it's 1-0. As a veteran out on the mound, that's a pitch that you expect to get a call on. Got to believe he keeps pounding that spot until he builds a rapport with the umpire. Runs Ball. outside, so it goes to 2-0 oh now. No strike. Swing and a ball line down in the left field corner. But this is foul near the seats. Now the 2-1 pitch. Makes him swing and miss on a ball out of the zone for strike two. Woo, that was an ugly swing. If I'm pitching right now, I'm throwing that same pitch again. That was ugly. He's set. Here's the 2-2. Heading out towards shallow right. In there, a base hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Nothing fires me up more than watching an offensive player stay inside a baseball and drive it the other way. Into the box, Brett Anderson. As the first pitch to him is taken low and away for ball one. Two's all over the place. Two on, two out, and of course, here in inning number two. And a fastball that's about off the radar screen there. It's 2-0. Oh. Can't fall behind against the pitcher. Need to minimize pitch count against the easy outs, and this is certainly one of them. The set and the 2-0. Two 2-1. And oh. two and one. Two and one, here it is. He's no. fallen behind now, three and one. Well, he really needs to make this guy swing the bat right here. He's not the type of hitter you want to dance around with. Here's the three one. A fastball here, and this is softly hit and fouled off to the left. Ready with the payoff pitch. Line to the right side. A leap, but he can't bring it down. Base hit. And not in time as he just crosses the plate in time. Well, this team's been in a pretty bad funk deal. Well, they've had a difficult time scoring and winning any game. So to strike early, that RBI single right there is awfully big. Yeah, and hopefully the pitcher's able to breathe a sigh of relief, Dan, like you say all the time. Give me some early runs and let me relax and attack the zone. I've always said, Dior, you score me six runs, I'm going to win a lot of games. <laughs> in now is Lorenzo Cain, as he'll take a changeup here for strike one. A base hit in his first trip. A one and one count to the Brewers leadoff man. 34 pitches for him through an inning and two thirds right now. 
That's not terrible, but it's a lot higher than he'd like. Two men are on with two men out. To one and two now. Swing and a miss got him reaching. And the throw to first ends the inning. Some of our nation's young minds and future leaders here in attendance. Yikes. The three of us return with more Wednesday Night Baseball after this. And that'll bring up Glaber Torres. First at bat for him in this one. He was one for four with a double in the ball game last night. Now the pitch. Pitch taken several inches below the zone, in fact. The 1 0 is looked at for ball number two. And that's in there, two and one. Unable to get the bat around in time, and the count evens at two and two. Now the pitch. Never tempted to swing at that ball down low. It's ball three. A shot to second base and handled for the first out. And with that, we give you a look here at what's happening in the race in the National League Central. Stepping into the box, Luke Voigt, as he'll get his first opportunity in this one. And the pitch. Sinker's in there. No balls and a strike. In front of the changeup, and he can't keep it fair. Two strikes on him now. Bases are empty. One man out. Grounder down the line at third. But this will be a foul ball, and it's still 0-2. Nothing in two count, and the pitch. And look out as that one ran in and got him. So here now is the pitcher, Jay Happ. He could be bunting here in order to stay out of the double play. From the stretch. Runners on first with one down. Now a bunt attempt here as he gets this one down. But that'll get foul. It's 0-2 now. Open to send him packing. Pitch on its way. And did he square around? No, it's ball one. Well, facing an AL pitcher at the plate, you certainly don't want to waste too many bullets on him. I expect this next pitch to be grooved right down the middle. And he'll take no chances here as he swipes this ball away. It stays a foul ball. So the runner at first here with two gone in the inning. And that'll bring up D.J. LeMayhew. From the belt, the pitch. No, outside. Now this is the kind of count this guy feeds on at the plate. You can bet he's geared to hit the fastball right here. Two 
Two balls and a strike now to the Yankees leadoff man. Wow I can't believe the hitter took that one. The pitcher absolutely got away with a hanger. Not what he wanted to do there with the slider as it misses well above the zone. If you're at the plate right now you have to realize who's on deck. I guarantee you something's over the heart of the plate. You have to be aggressive in the zone right here. The three one. Finds the zone to fill the count three and two. Good spot for an RBI. Put the ball in play with the runner in motion. He could score all the way from first. This is line to left. Into a slide and he makes a great catch to retire the side. A fine sliding catch here will take us to break. The three of us return with more Wednesday night baseball after this. We're back now for the Brewers third turn at bat and unfortunately for them and their fans this lineup hasn't really found its stride this season. One coach told me before the game there are certainly plenty of areas for us to improve offensively but first and foremost we need to start by putting the ball in play more often. There's too much swing and miss in our game and the stats do back that up as they currently rank near the bottom of the league in strikeouts so that appears to be an area of emphasis going forward guys. OK thank you Heidi. Ready to go for the last half of the inning at the plate. Brock Holt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there at the letters 0 and 1. The pitch. Cold strike on the outside part of the plate. 0 and 2. He pops him up toward the left side of the infield. And this is taken in for out number one. And with that, we'll give you a quick look at our current standings in the AL East. Stepping up to the plate, Christian Yelich. He drew a base on balls his first time up. Here it comes. Just no, off, off the, the outside, point. and it's 1-0. Oh. And now a pitch on the way. Skied in the air to straightaway left. Stanton has a read on it. And he makes the catch for the second out. The left fielder, number 24, Avisahi Garcia. So two away in the Brewers half of the third. And that'll bring up Avisayu Garcia. First pitch of the at bat. Grounded straight into the shift on the left side. And safe, says the first base umpire, as the throw was too late. The first base hey, that's great the hustle ball. right there out of the box. Yeah. Not everybody's getting it right Good out job. of the shoot from step one, but I have to ask you, Dan, how frustrating executing a pitch and there's an infield knock. It is, D. Roy, and you can read that right off the bat as a pitcher. You can read the angle. You know that that ball is going to be hit on the ground, and you're thinking deep down inside, okay, there's a quick out, and it just wasn't meant to be. And he takes ball one. Two out with the man at first. One and one the count to the Brewers first baseman. Hey I don't mind that batter taking that strike right there. He's walked a couple people early in this game. Got to find out if he can find his own. If he wants to walk them all in we'll take it. Here's a bouncing ball headed to LeMahieu at second. Throw on to Voigt takes care of him, and the inning is over. Brewers strand one, but they're up one to nothing.
leading off the inning, Aaron Judge. And they'll need him to get something going here. The right fielder, number 99. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Hot shot on the ground is short. Garcia has it. Throw to first in time. One gone here in the fourth. So with one away, let's punch up the graphic and show you the pitch speed comparison for the two starters here in the fourth inning. And you can see there both guys getting it up into the 90s, 92 and 94 respectively. And digging into the batter's box next will be Giancarlo Stanton. He popped out in his first trip. Now the pitch. Ball one. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. And a sinker oh. dips too low there. Into the dirt, in fact. Over at the knees, and that's the second strike. A swinging bunt out in front of the plate. On to first, and it's a fine start to the inning for Anderson. Two away now. Now battle. The catcher, Gary Sanchez. Digging in to try it again. Gary Sanchez. He's 0 for 1 thus far. 50th pitch of the game on its way. And this ball. is taken outside for ball 1. 1 0. -oh. And a strike to even the count. 1 and 1. No runs, just one hit, and no errors for the Yankees so far. Weak grounder down the first baseline, but a foul ball, one and two now. And now pitch on the way. And this is fouled at the plate. Hard sinker misses two and two. And good patience to hold back on the curveball in the dirt. It's full now. Three and two. Three two counts are usually a time to challenge the hitter, but I think he'll be careful here. Shoot for the corner, and if you miss and you walk him, so what? That's better than him putting one in the seats. And whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. And I'm sure the manager is just fine with that. I mean, it's better to oh, battle a slugger man. like that to the end and end up walking him than serving yeah. one up where he can really oh, hurt you. That'll bring in Giovanni Urshela. Here comes the first pitch. Hit out towards second. And that's through for a hit. And that runner will go no further than second as there are two aboard now. Hey, that was a well-executed pitch down and away. Sometimes you got to tip your hat to the offense. That's a nice piece of hit. Maybe not what he was looking for, but the result was there. So here's the veteran Brett Gardner as he'll watch a slider that runs out of the strike zone away for ball one. Two men on, two away here in the fourth. Looked like a slider, perhaps, but it missed badly, and it's 2-0. Great chance right here as a hitter to be really aggressive. With two guys already on, pretty good shot. He's going to get a challenge pitch right here. Two balls and a strike to count. All even now, 2-2. Two and two.
three and two to the Yankee center fielder. Torres would be next if they can keep this inning alive. Payoff pitch on its way. Neither guy willing to give in and the ad battle continue. Now here's a ball hit high and deep to straightaway right field. Looking up is Yelich. And that one is gone on a two strike count with two away in the inning. So it's a three run shot to straight away right field number 11 for him on the season and it gives the Yankees a three to one lead. Yeah he is kicking himself right now. He worked his tail off to get out of that jam and was one strike away from getting there and then boom all that work goes to waste from zero damage to a three run homer in the blink of an eye. Blake now Torres as the sinker to him finds the zone for strike one hit it hard but lined out in his first at bat into the windup here comes the 0 and 1 hey there's not a lot you can do with a slider breaking down and in unless you catch it way out front I like the idea of taking it and making the pitcher bring you something a little more hittable. Line hard. But this is a foul ball. Three runs already home here. The one two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. The classic back foot slider right there with two strikes. Usually gets a ton of swing and misses. Nice layoff right there. Fight for another pitch. The 2 2. Doesn't get the zone. Count full now. For the guy in the mound, this is one of those innings where nothing comes easy. He's thrown a bunch of pitches, and this AB hasn't been any different. Definitely laboring at the moment. Bases are empty here with two men out. This is in the air out to right. Yelich is after it. He's not going to get it. And the two out rally continues. That was a great job of driving that ball. Extending his arms very well. Was able to get it over the right fielder's head. One hopping it off the wall for an easy double. That's one of those solid hits that you don't even feel coming off the bat. To the plate now, Luke Voigt. As the first pitch sinker misses to him, it's ball one. <laughs> hey, you think the game plan is to pitch this guy inside? They plunked him in the first at bat, and they're clearly coming right back in again. And that's inside and a bit low, anyways. It's 2 0. Oh. Hits are now even at four apiece. Two balls and a strike to the Yankees' first baseman. Now some movement out in the Milwaukee bullpen. Both a lefty and a right-hander have begun to stretch it out. Here's the 2-1. Well hit, but also well fouled into the seats in left. Here now the 2-2. Two out here and a runner at second. This one misses and that'll fill the count here. Three and two with two away. He certainly has an open base down there. But you don't want your defenders standing flat footed for much longer. A swing and a drive hit well out to right field. Yelich going back. And he makes a nice catch on the track as that ends the inning. 
Another look at the big blow for the Bombers. A three-run home run. Bottom of the fourth coming up. It's now 3-1 to one Yanks. Back here in Milwaukee at Miller Park as we check in with Heidi Watney. Well, Matt, during the break, I caught up with Craig Council, the Brewers skipper, about his lineup's performance so far. And flat out, he was very pleased with the quality of their at-bats. Yes, they've only scored one run, but he said they've done a great job of forcing the pitch count up, and he thinks that's going to lead to more offense for them as this game goes on. Okay, thank you, Heidi. Ready for another chance? Eric Sogard, he flew out in his last at-bat. Things not looking very good so far in this one, but we're still in the middle innings. They're down by a couple of runs, and this would be the right place and the right time to get something going. The last thing they want to do is to try to come from behind and win this one in the eighth or ninth inning. The wind-up and the 0-1. That misses wide. One ball and one strike. And right into the shift. But a foul ball. One and two the count now. Here's the pitch. Ball two. Down the third baseline, but a foul ball as it holds it two and two. Now here it comes. Three balls, two strikes. Down the Manny Pena waits on deck. Now a fastball up around the shoulders, but it's strike three called and a questionable first out of the inning. Well, it's still early, but it's also worth noting that he'd be in line for the win if this keeps up as we take a look at the league leaders in games won this season. And as you can see there, he's part of a flat-footed tie for the AL lead. Stepping into the box, Manny Pena, 0 for 1 for him here in this one. He's ready. Here's the first offering. Man, that's a great take right there. Backdoor slider just missed the outside corner. This guy must have a really good eye. Most guys swing at that pitch. No offer on that one. Two balls and a strike. Pretty well struck. High and deep to left field. Back goes Stanton. Boom goes the dynamite. Solo shot here to left, his first home run of the season, and the Brew Crew has cut this to a 3-2 ball game now. That bomb didn't tie things up, but they're only down one right now and feeling pretty good they can come back. Next to bat, Orlando Arcia. And he'll watch one miss up and away for a ball 1-0. and Arcia. That misses 2-0. and One out, nobody on. And a good comeback fastball there. It's two balls and a strike. Now the 2-1 pitch. He stays alive, still 2-2. Two and two. And another foul ball. Two-two, one more time. 
hit down the line at first. And he'll take it to the bag himself for the out. Now that the pitcher, Brett Anderson. Next to hit will be the pitcher, Brett Anderson. He singled his last time up. Yeah, he showed like a little prowess with the bat right there, Dan. I'd be surprised if they don't attack him a little bit more carefully this A.B. First pitch hack in here, and that's the first strike. Two out, nobody on. Oh, he looks like he's toying with him here. It's 0-2. Hey, this guy obviously feels he can move traffic right here. He's taking two big swings. He's trying to help himself. One and two to the Brewers pitcher. Play as well. One, two. Hit to first. Throw in time, and the side is retired. But the Brewers get one back on the solo home run. We're through four. It's the Yankees three, and the Brewers two. So now the pitcher for the Yankees, Jay Happ. And Dan, I'm sure the starter on the mound would like to hit the rewind button on that last inning. Oh, no doubt about that, Mac. That was a really rocky frame, but clearly not enough to chase him from this game. We'll see if he's still shaking a bit or if he's able to put this behind him. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. High fly ball out to straightaway center. After it is Kane, he gets there and makes the play for the first out. Now batter, second baseman, DJ Lemay. So it's back to the top of the order now, and that'll bring in DJ LeMahieu. First pitch on its way. And oh looked inside but that's ruled a strike nothing in one great job by the pitcher right there changing eye levels we all know he's a sinker ball pitcher but if he could throw some four seamers up in the zone like that it could work for him throw on to first two gone the right field number 99 Aaron Judd. So bases are empty here with two gone and that'll bring up the former American League Rookie of the Year big Aaron Judge. First delivery to him on the way. Ball. One Fifth ball. inning of play One here strike. in a three two ball game. Ball. Two and oh now. Two outs, nobody on, but a base runner here feels like it would really change the complexion of the inning. Big spot right here, middle of the order guys coming up. Let's see if he can extend the inning. And here's a slider for a called strike. Nasty 2-0 slider right there for a strike. No shame in tipping your hat. Sinker misses there, and now he's in trouble 3-1. This is good patience here to work at the three and one, especially after two quick outs to start the inning. Even if you don't end up getting a hit or drawing a walk, at least you're making the guy work a little bit and giving your pitcher a chance to rest a little. Full count, three and two. Swing and a miss for the third strike as he went after what would have been ball four. Instead, the inning is over. So the Yanks go one, two, three, and it remains a three, two ball game. And in to hit next is Lorenzo Kane. And Dan, he and his fellow top of the order hitters haven't really offered much help for this lineup so far. No, your one, two, three guys are the ones you look to to generate a lot of action. And they just haven't been up to the task so far in this one. Still time for them to turn it around, though. We'll see if it happens. Here comes the first pitch. Check the swing there and pops this one up. 
LeMayhew has it, and it's a quick out number one. The batter, the third baseman, Rock. Oh. So the bases are empty with one man gone. And that'll bring up the versatile utility man, Brock Holt. He's ready. Here's the first offering. In there, 0 and 1. No ball, one strike. Boy, that's just about in the catcher's glove there. It's 0 and 2. And a swing and a miss as they got him with the slider there, two away. Well, he's really locked in at this point in the game on the bump. So far Up this inning, four pitches and two outs. Right got the first guy on one Rick pitch, and then absolutely dominates this at bat with a three-pitch strikeout. In is Christian Yelich. As he will take a fastball in there at the knees for strike one. Yelich could be making an appearance at the Midsummer Classic this year. So far, he's received the second most votes in National League right fielder balloting. Yeah, and he's been having an excellent season to date, making a push towards that All-Star game. Hey, fans, get out there and vote. This guy sits in second place, but I'm sure he'd like to be named starter. From the windup, the 1-1 pitch. Not surprisingly here, this is on the ground to the right side. Throw to first will get him easily, and the side is retired. Gone in order are the Brewers. They trail 3-2. David Phelps takes over to start the sixth inning on the mound. Number 41. David. Giancarlo Stanton now. 0 for 2 on his line thus far. The left fielder. Giancarlo Stanton. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. And who looks like he got the call there on the pitch inside. It's nothing and one. Now the pitch. Off the plate, one ball, one strike. One and two now as that one's fouled off. Here's the pitch. And right into the shift. But this is a foul ball as the count holds steady at one and two. Got to take advantage of that pitch right there. 0-2 breaker hanging over the heart of the plate. Not going to see too many of those today. Inside and a hair low. It's two balls and two strikes. Man, this guy's a grinder. Fouls off good pitches and doesn't seem to swing at the ones just off the corner. This guy's a pitcher's nightmare. Sent on the ground, but right into the shift. Throw to first gets him, so the leadoff man's retired here to begin the sixth. Now batter, catcher, Gary Sanchez. Ready for another shot now, Gary Sanchez. First offering on its way. Action now in the Milwaukee bullpen as they'll have a right-hander loosen up. Wind up and the 0 1. And 1 and 1 as this one's one in on more. the hands. One and two to the Yankees one catcher. Two Three twos are scored here in inning number six. To two ball. balls and two strikes now. High and deep to right center. Yelich on the move. And he tracks it down. A nice running play to record the second out. Now batter. Third baseman. 
Gio Urshela. Digging in and looking for more. Gio Urshela, a hit in two tries so far. The pitch. Hit on the ground toward the left. And there's a base hit as that gets through into left. So it's a ground ball single to left for him here. His second hit tonight. And as that graphic shows us, he currently leads the Yankees in that category. Brett Gardner will stride in again as first we flash you back to his at bat in the fourth inning and what a big one it was a three run home run that was certainly one of the big blows in the ball game to this point. From the stretch here's the pitch lifted the other way down the left field line and this will wind up a foul ball here's the 0 1 pitch ball. Playing 11. one ball one strike. and there's a fastball well off the plate Two inside one. Strike two as the fastball is let go. A bouncer up the middle. Garcia gloves it. And an underhanded throw is in time for out number three. The Yanks leave one, but they still lead it three to two. of the inning now so here's Abisayu Garcia a hit in two tries for him so far here comes the pitch for Garcia into his wind up here comes the 1 0 and right into the shift a quick out number one. The bat, the first baseman, Jay Jerko. Coming to the plate now, Jed Jerko. He was retired via the ground ball last time up. First pitch on its way. Now a swing, and he pops him up. This is right out in front of the mound. Half. With a little do-it-yourself play, and there are two down. So now yet back. another strong Second outing for him defense. tonight as we show you Air the back. league leaders in ERA. Go, and go. as you can see, he currently ranks second in the AL in that department. Standing in, Eric Sogard. He's 0 for 2 thus far in this one. Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. Down low. The 1-0. Now he lifts a high pop-up, drifting into foul territory on the right side. And this will not be caught. It's a foul ball. Now the one and one pitch is taken ball. for ball two. Big ball. sweeping breaking ball right there. Good pitch. But if he wants to get him to swing at it, he'll have to bring it in a little bit closer to the strike zone. Bases are empty here with two men out. In the air to right center and carrying well. Way back there now and gone. Home run. Solo shot to right center. Fourth home run for him on the season. And the Brewers have drawn even now with 3-3.
normally this matchup is the last thing you want to see left on left but he kept his front shoulder square stayed in that at bat and absolutely demolished that baseball. In now Manny Pena as he looks at a fastball that's in there for strike one one for two in the ball game thus far. Into the windup, here comes the 0 and 1. Two out, nobody on. Protecting on 0 and 2, so we'll do it again. Trying to send him packing for the second time. Hard on the ground towards short. A dive, and he knocks it down. And the recovery will not be in time at first, and the inning will continue following the infield single. Nice effort by the shortstop right there. Kept it in front of him. That's, a, that's all he could do right there, Dan. You know, deal in a spot like that, that's an infield single. That's a tough play. Just to knock that ball down was a pretty good job. But any way you look at it, that should be scored a base hit, and I'm sure it was. Stepping in now, Orlando Arcia. No balls in one strike. Well above the letters with the fastball that time. Double barreled action in the Yankee bullpen now. A lefty and a right hander start to get loose. A runner on first with two away. Lays off the slider that time. Two and one. At the knees for a called strike, and it's back to even at two and two. From the stretch. Three, two, two out, runner on first. Lots of possible outcomes on this pitch. Ready now with the payoff pitch. Grounded down the third baseline. But this will get foul, so they'll do it again. Three and two. hit the other way out toward right field heading after it is judge he's there to track it down and that'll end the inning but the Brewers tie things up thanks to this solo home run bottom third of the order seven eight nine due up to start the seventh we're tied now with three apiece Your Ray Black please. is on to pitch from the now bullpen now to start inning number seven number 50 Ray. Stepping up now, Torres. He doubled his last time through. And he's got to build off that last A-B. He battled. Usually when you battle, you get in that swing mode. A lot of pitches, you'll swing at the rosin bag. I love the fact that he was able to work a double in last at bat. Let's see if we get more of the same right here. Down the left field line and deep. And that will end up a foul ball. 0 oh and 1, here it comes. Popped him up. Pina shading to his right. And that's the first out of the inning. Now batter. That's exactly what they wanted out of that pitch up in the zone. They took him up the ladder and he couldn't get up to it. So that was an easy pop out. Well executed pitch there. Digging in once again, Luke Voigt. It was a flyout for him in his last trip. First pitch on its way. Bases are empty, one man out. And that misses low and inside. Two balls and no strikes. And not the kind of swing you're hoping for on 2 and 0 oh as they bunch him up inside. It's 2 and 1 now. Not much he could do with that one. Tied him up in knots. Now the 2-1 is looked at for ball three. Every base runner in a close game like this really matters. So you can't afford to be giving out free passes this late. Full count. Three balls. Two strikes. 
Now the three and two pitch. That's the ball. And he lays That's off, base. ball four. Now the potential go-ahead run is on base here. Now batter, the pitcher. Miguel Andujar will come on to pinch hit here in a big spot. For New York. Number 41, Miguel Andujar. And boy, a high strike called there. That's not all that consistent, but it's strike one. He'll enter play here at an even 250. Five homers and 22 RBIs. Hit hard up the middle. Fielded by Sogard. On to first as they get the double play to get him out of the inning. So they breeze through this half of the inning. Seventh inning stretch time here at the ballpark. And we are all tied at three apiece. Tommy Kingley gets the call from the pen to take over on the mound and start the home seventh. Tommy Kingley. Keston Hiura is up off the bench as he'll be asked to get something started in the home half of the seventh. First pitch fastball in on the fists for ball one. Ready with the 1-0 pitch. Swing and a ball lifted in the air toward the line and right. Judges under it. And that's the first out of the inning. The center fielder, number six, Lorenzo Kane. One away for the Brewers in their half of the seventh, and that'll bring up Lorenzo Cain. He's set, and the pitch. And he takes a cold strike, 0-1. Oh Swing and a miss here, and he's behind in the count now, 0-2. Oh One out, nobody on. hit the other way out toward right field. Judge is there. Two down. Up next for Milwaukee. The third baseman. Brock Holt. Here's Brock Holt now. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Keenly, 30 years of age. He was a first round pick back in the draft of 2013. Yeah, Maddie, they certainly got it right when they drafted this guy. He has turned himself into an absolute superstar. Everybody knows this guy's name, and kids are buying his jerseys. Two balls and no strikes. Sometimes it can be difficult for a pitcher. You're facing a guy that's not known to be a big stick in the lineup. Sometimes the toughest thing is to be aggressive and throw strikes. Popped up. Urshela is there for it. And that retires the side. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. Still tied three to three. Brent Suter will come on to make his 40th appearance this season. Number 35. Brent Suter. And that sends DJ LeMayhew into the box. He was a ground out victim last time up. DJ LeMayhew. Pitch on the way. Ball. The one and no delivery. <laughs> and this is low ball two, two and one. Tough to lay off a breaking ball that good, but he saw it all the way.
popped him up. Jerko in foul ground, one away. The white field, number nine. Time now to give you a look at our starter yeah. comparison in this 3 3 ball game. Both pitchers turning in fairly good performances, as you can see on the graphic. Here's big Aaron Judge. Here's the first pitch to him. Lays oh. off 1 0. Action in that Milwaukee bullpen now as a left hander started to throw out there. A strike to even the count. One and one. Now here's the pitch. Swing and a miss on the fastball, and it's one and two. That's not a pitch he misses very often. He knows he should have done something with that one. And he lays off a pitch outside as they draw even at two and two. Well, I'll tell you, he's not hitting over 300 by luck. He really knows the strike zone and his own strengths. That last take is a great example. And this pitch is swung on and missed. And the AL's leading hitter is set down on strikes, yeah, two away. Anytime a pitcher locates a fastball on the inside corner, it's going to be a tough pitch to hit. That one was spot on, and he had no answer for it. Into the box now, Giancarlo Stanton. As he takes a cold strike at the knees, it's 0-1. He could really use a knock here, 0 for 3 in the game so far. Oh. Off the plate and in, it's a ball and a strike. I know he buried that slider in right there, but that's a dangerous pitch. If he doesn't pot commit, and bury that inside. It leaks out over the plate. He can get hurt with that pitch. Giancarlo swings, and this ball is hit well into left field. But he will make the catch on the dead run as he tracks it down just shy of the wall, and the side is retired. One, two, three, go the Bombers. No change in the score. It's three to three. Ben Heller is on to pitch out of the bullpen in the bottom half of the eighth. Number 61, Ben Heller. Digging in, Christian Yelich. He'll get things started now in the bottom of inning number eight. The right fielder, Christian. Here comes the first pitch. That just misses off the inside for ball one. Now he spins on one here and drives it to deep right field. And he's going to have room to put this one away, and that's the first out. Now back, left fielder, Abisahi Garcia. Next will be the cleanup hitter, Abisail Garcia. He's working on a one for three thus far. And the pitch. Swing and a miss on the slider, nothing in one. And some action out in the Yankee bullpen now as a right-hander starts to loosen up. Bases are empty, one man out. And a slider's in the dirt as he lays off it for a ball. Now the one and one pitch. Lifted down the line and left. And this is going to get down. It's a foul ball. And they'll try to get him fishing there, but he won't offer in the dirt, and it's back to even at two and two. Won't commit on the slider. Good patience, and it's full three and two. And now a slider in there for a called third strike, and there are two gone now. 
That was a big strike out there, guys. The, the best baseman, pitchers have the ability to strike guys yeah. out when they really need to. Good and that job. second out was really important at this point of the game. Could be something we look back on later when the game's over. Here's Jed Jerko now. As he will look ball. at a first pitch fastball for ball one. one ball. He's hitless in his two at bats so far. Ball and a strike. Bases are empty here with two men out. And they'll come back with one in the dirt as the count moves to two and one now. And he misses again. Ball three. Good breaking ball there. Laid off for the second strike. Now ball hit foul down the line in right and in amongst the fans. Here's the payoff pitch. him up Sanchez is there and that's the third out gone in order of the Brewers score remains tied at three to three <laughs> new inning set to get underway digging in Gary Sanchez over okay. two for him to this yeah. point Ready with the first pitch. Here it comes. A great job pounding his own strike one. When you got a great hitter in the box, got to get ahead. Count leverage is a must. And it's 0-2 to Sanchez. After falling down 0-2 on the same pitch, don't be shocked if he triples up on it. Here it comes. Ball one. Stone cold take right there. That fastball very well could have sent him packing back to the bench. Ball. Easy take there as the off speed pitch misses well inside. Pitch swung on and bounced to Arcia at short. On to first, and that is a big out to start the ninth. Now that first base, Gio Urshela. Digging in now, Gio Urshela. Two hits and three at bats for him in this one. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Not close with that when it's way above the strike zone. In there and it's even at one. Hey, it looks like this guy's going to work in the upper part of the strike zone. It'll be interesting to see if this lineup can adjust to the way he pitches. A one one. He is in there for the second strike. One two down the left field line and deep and no one will get this one the one two ball playing two balls two strikes one out nobody on and a 
fastball blew it right by him and they're two down. Boy, there's nothing better from a pitcher standpoint than watching that high fastball, a high piece of cheese swung at and missed. That pitch looks so inviting to hit, but it's awfully tough to put in play. Here's Brett Gardner now. And a first pitch swing. He hits a fly ball to left center. Holt has got it, and the side is retired. So the Yanks go one, two, three. Still tied three to three. Aroldis Chapman enters the game from the pen, and because this is a non-safe situation, it's evident that they're just trying to get him some work after having not thrown in several days. Yeah, and this is all about just getting him some work, guys. He hasn't a chance to come in and close a game out for several days now, so they're just hoping they can keep him sharp and give him a chance to pitch in a real game situation here. One ball, no strikes to count. The 1-0 home. And it's fouled away. Now the one and one pitch is taken for strike two. One two offering looked like a slider that time, but it's two and two. Now the pitch. And he struck him out. Second time tonight now that he's been set down on strikes. Into the box, Manny Pena. He homered earlier and is two for three to this point. First offering on its way. Ah, got him fishing that time, 0-1. You got to be paying attention as an offense in a hitters meeting in this situation. When you got a guy on the mound that you know the bottom can drop out of any pitch he throws, you have to elevate your sights. Bases are empty, one man out. Fouled away. Here's the 0-2. And he strikes him out as well. So make it back-to-back -back punch outs here to the first two men he faces out of the bullpen. No problems for him on the mound since he's come out of the pen to start this inning. That's back-to-back -back K's, and he's making it look pretty easy. This has the makings of a good outing so far. At the plate, Orlando Arcia. He'll look at a fastball in there on the outer half. It's 0-1. Chapman, nicknamed the Missile for obvious reasons. He's an 11-year vet at the major league level, so he certainly put together a nice career in professional baseball. Comes set, the 0-1. Big swing and a miss at the fastball, and he's behind in the count 0-2. In my opinion, there is no one in this bullpen that relishes a moment like this on the mound other than this guy. It looks like he feeds off the challenge of pitching in tight games. A swing and a miss at a sinker. The strikeout retires the side. Inning is over. Three up, three down for Milwaukee. No change in the score. It's three to three. into extra innings digging in now for the Yankees Torres his last at bat didn't go his way as he popped out in foul territory yeah we used to have a saying right here you stride to the now here's a fly ball well hit looking up is Yelich and as Yankees fans here on television quite frequently see ya A solo shot here to straightaway right field as they take the lead four to three. Bye. 
Well, we've now seen four homers combined between these two clubs today. What are your thoughts, guys? Yeah, Matty D, one of the things you look for when you come to a Brewers game at Miller Park, you want to see Bernie Brewer go down the slide, and Bernie Brewer's fanny's got to be a little bit sore after this one. <laughs> Damn, one of my favorite places to hit at. I, I, I always felt like great batter's eye in dead center. You can move traffic to both gaps. A lot of home runs get hit in this yard. Comes into this at bat 0 for 1 in the ball game. Ball and a strike. Plane 11, 1-1. One, one. Ah, changed things up on him, and he got him to one swing ball. through it. One and two now. The pitch. And he'll lay ball. off the curveball that's in the dirt that time, and it's back to even now at two and two. Looks like that bomb earlier in the inning kind of put this pitcher on the defensive. Oh, that yeah. being very aggressive right now. Three and two, full count. Now the payoff pitch home. And, whoa, awfully close, but it's ball four, according to Woody Keller. Just a nice piece of hitting right there, especially in extra innings. He didn't try to win the thing by himself or be a hero. He just patiently worked the bat until he earned the walk. We'll see if his teammates can pick him up now. Mike Talkman will grab a bat and hit for the pitcher here. Mike Talkman. And he popped him up. Garcia coming on, but this will land untouched. Here comes the 0-1. Swing and a miss, and he needs a little discipline here, 0-2. It's not easy to get your barrel to a pitch that high. That could be an effective location as long as he keeps it above the letters. In the dirt, and now let's see. And it's not in time as he's in well ahead of the throw. And that's going to move that runner into scoring position now. Well, I know what he was thinking there. The pitch before was way out of the zone, and he was hacking. So the pitcher says, hey, if he's going to swing at that, how about this? Solid strategy, except this time it didn't work out, and it's a wild pitch. And he lays off it to even the count two and two. He went with the off speed there once he got him to 0 and 2. But now that they both missed, I think we'll see more of a challenge pitch here. You don't have to give in, but you can't be too cute either. And that one never threatened the zone. It's gone full now to three and two. That was kind of a gift to the hitter. He's up there probably thinking of protecting on two and two. But when you launch a ball that high out of the strike zone, it's obviously easy to take that one. Working for the punch out and the offering. Swing and a miss on the slider, and that's out number one. Well, his struggles continue. It's been a rough go of it at the plate with him. And watching this at bat, it's clear to me that his rhythm and timing, they're just all off. Even as a pitcher like I was, you can tell these things and exploit them. Here's the second baseman, D.J. LeMayhew, as he'll take a look at an off-speed pitch here that misses for ball one. He comes into this appearance in the midst of a one-for-four day. And he lays off a fastball here that looked pretty good, but it's 2-0. Oh. Oh, that's a tough call for Blue right there. Either way you call it, somebody doesn't like it. But hey, that's the life of an umpire. 2 0 count. The pitch is a breaking ball that's taken for a ball. Aaron Judge waits on deck. And 
and that misses ball four. So it's first and second now with only one away. It was obvious when the count ran to 2-0 that they were not going to give this guy anything to hit. Sometimes you have to pick your battles, and they're going to try their luck with the next hitter. First pitch on its way. A swing and a drive to center field. That one's got a chance. Kane going back. And off the batter's eye for a home run. An impressive shot to dead center field. So a three-run blast to deep center here. Number 14 on the season as it is now 7-3. Alex Claudio will come on now to make his 30th appearance of the year so far. Number 58, Alex Claudio. Now back, the left field, Giancarlo. At the plate now, Giancarlo Stanton. As the changeup to him drops in there for the first strike. Claudio has seen his role change with those one batter lefty specialists going the way of the dodo as a part of MLB's pace of play initiatives. And he misses with it one and one. We're playing 11. One one. Sinker misses that time and it's two and one. That's where he wants that sinker to end up, but that was a nice job of laying off. Four runs here in this half inning. Oh, and not an easy pitch to lay off of, but he did somehow, and he's got it to three and one. Good job to work the count and put himself back in the driver's seat. Started off with one strike, and now he's got the count in his favor, three and one. And he misses ball four. So he comes out of the bullpen and immediately walks the first man he faces. And you can tell by his body language that he's beyond frustrated by that call. He's got to be wondering what he's got to do. But the last thing he needs to do is to let it get under his skin. That will only make things worse. Now batting, Gary Sanchez. He got on top of one and was a ground out victim last time. First pitch of the at bat on its way. And that's in there for strike one. Still only one out in the inning. Grounded weakly down the line toward third. But this will be a foul ball as he's behind 0 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. Skied into straightaway right. After it is Yelich. He gets there and makes the play for the second out of the inning. And this throw gets away from him. How about it? First base, Gio Urshela. Coming to the plate now, Gio Urshela. He looked to bounce back after striking out his last time up. Ready to deliver. Here's the first pitch. Oh.
the 1 0 home is taken strike one. Two out with the man at first. Oh, they have him looking awfully confused up there right now. It's one and two. Man, this guy's been locked in all game long. I don't know where that ugly swing just came from. The one two. Changes up on him, but that's in the dirt for a ball. Sent on the ground out to second. Throw on to first. We'll finally retire him as the inning will draw to a close. So four runs in the inning, and they come on the strength of the two big flies. So now we'll see if these guys can get even in the bottom of inning number 10. It's the Yankees seven and the Brewers three. Your Zach Britton of Southpaw now standing six foot three gets the ball Number now out of the bullpen. Zach Britton. Ben Gamel is up off the bench as he'll lead off the bottom of the tenth after a disastrous top of the inning. This pitch is taken on the inner half for strike one. Britton, a California-born ball player. This is his tenth season at the major league level, so almost a decade, which is quite an accomplishment. Barely able to make contact. Down 0 and 2 now. Nothing in two count and the pitch. And it's one and two. Gamble is usually more of a threat when facing left handers like this. The right handers tend to give him a bit more trouble, so we'll see if that trend continues. And a slider runs away from him there, and the count levels at two and two. Now here's the pitch. And he takes ball three, so it's a full count now. From 0-2 to 3-2, what a great at-bat to start this inning off. Hey, this could be a productive inning. Now the payoff pitch home. Popped up. And the pinch hitter is retired here, one away. The batter, the center fielder. Lorenzo now back to the top of the Milwaukee order digging in Lorenzo Kane it was a fly out for him in his last trip ready with the first pitch here it comes he'll start him with a sinker here but that sinks a bit too much that time it's one and oh Two and oh to the Brewers center fielder. I'm seeing him just a little too amped up out there right now. That's common with hard throwers like him. Running a blazing fastball up there is great, but if you can't harness it, what good does it do you? One out, nobody on. Ball three. Three zero is laid off, but in there for strike one. The three one lifted in the air out towards left center. Under it now is Stanton to make the catch, and there are two away now. Now batter, 
the third baseman. Striding into the box, Brock Holt, 0 for 4 with a strikeout thus far. Britain's ready. Here comes the first pitch. No, down. And that misses ball one. Two no. and oh. Boy, and Woody Keller's just not giving him any help now. It's 3-0. Christian Yelich would be next if they can keep this inning alive. A 3-0. And that one's taken outside for a ball. They walked him. So no 1-2-3 inning here. They've got themselves a two-out base runner. That is just a great at bat there. When you're down late, you need base runners any way you can get them. And that never say die mentality could be the difference. We'll see how it plays out. Striding in, Christian Yelich. And we'll see if they can make him pay for the two out walk. Always considered a big no no, of course. From the stretch. Ball. 1 0. One and zero pitch on the way. Ball outside. Well, this is a spot you'd like to be in. 2-0, good hitter. He's going to turn it loose right here. And that outside. one's wide to the mark. Ball three. Avisail Garcia would be next. Here it is, the 3-0. A swing and a miss. That's the first strike. That swing had one purpose, and that was to put the ball over the wall. I guess he doesn't have much to lose with his team down this many at this point in the game. The 3-1. And he misses again. Ball four. And that's back-to-back -back guys now that have reached base via the base on ball. Oh, man, I think this walk is going to grind at him for a bit. He just missed, and now the inning continues with a man in scoring position. So striding in, Avisail Garcia. He got called out on strikes his last time through. Yeah, always frustrating to go down looking. Everybody does it, though. You'll have a few ABs where you get completely fooled. Look for him to be on the attack early in the setback. A splitter, but he started it too low as it bounces up to the plate. That evens it up one and one. Looking to wiggle out of this. Here it is. Now a swing, and he pops him up, and this should do it. And he will make the catch with ease, and the Yankees have taken the first two games of this series on the road as this one is over. Hey, it took them an extra frame to do it, but hey, they're not going to complain as they lock up a nice road victory here in 10 innings. And tonight's final, 7-3. to three. Aroldis Chapman claims the win out of the pen his first. So that's a wrap here tonight. For Mark DeRosa, Dan Plezak, and Heidi Watney, this is Matt Vaskersian. You've been watching MLB The Show. For more, find us on Twitter, at MLB The Show.